Welcome to another edition of WWE Lee TV and here is another news blast for you this week. First off, Daniel Bryan went into the beginning of this year with a hell of a run in WWE. He was the hottest superstar there there was at the time and he went into WrestleMania 30 and beat Triple H to go on to the main event of WrestleMania 30 and win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship with 70,000 people chanting, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 And shortly after, have to deal with his father's death. A young fan of his, Connor, he died. And then all of a sudden, Daniel Bryan gets neck issues and shoulder issues. And the problems just keep getting worse for this guy. And I couldn't feel more sorry for him. And it's just getting worse and worse because not only has he got to have neck surgery, he's now got to have shoulder surgery. And as I said before, he could be out from three to six months. It could now be longer. It could be a year or more. As WWE have now decided to just drop all plans for Daniel Bryan as the top guy in WWE because they think he's going to be out for a hell of a long time. Um, and they are questioning what's going to happen with his career now. So Daniel Bryan's stories and plans have been completely dropped. So this now pushes Roman Reigns into their future plans. Future plans involve Roman Reigns. And WWE, the officials, are telling their writers to make Roman Reigns looked like the top guy going into Royal Rumble and WrestleMania next year. So, the rough plan at the moment involves him, The Rock and Brock. So, The Rock has previously spoke to WWE about plans for WrestleMania 31, but he won't do it unless the money is fantastic as well as a strong story to bring him back in. Now he, by then, it is said that he will be making Fast and Furious 7. So unless WWE can come up with a hell of a lot of money and a decent storyline to bring The Rock back in for a feud with Brock Lesnar next year, then he will not do it. Now, the budget cuts. Are they to do with saving up some money for The Rock? That is another question for another day. Let's just see how all this unfolds. But Something tells me if they're trying to save some money, it could be that they're trying to bring The Rock in for some sort of story next year, WrestleMania 31 with Brock Lesnar. And that's plan A. Plan B is for Roman Reigns to be the top guy next year going into WrestleMania 31 if The Rock can't work it. I said before, Roman Reigns will be main eventing next year's WrestleMania and it looks like that's going to happen. He could be winning next year's Royal Rumble if they push him hard enough and hot enough going into the event. And then main eventing at WrestleMania 31 for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, I've predicted, will win at SummerSlam and hold the title all the way through until WrestleMania 31 where him and Roman Reigns will go one-on-one -on -one for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And who knows, The Rock may be brought back in and put into a storyline with Brock Lesnar, maybe even all three of them will go into a storyline and have a triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but this is a long way off yet. But they are the rough plans for now. Daniel Bryan dropped from all stories. Roman Reigns is going to be pushed bigger than ever over the next six to seven months, whatever it is, until WrestleMania 31. Next up, CM Punk, I follow him on Twitter and he has posted a tweet saying that he's got some plans coming up which involves a podcast, a band and start starting a fire. A podcast, a band and starting a fire. Now he said he's doing two of those things. Can't imagine he's starting a fire. Why he would start a fire, I don't know, but I doubt it's that. So a podcast and a band. I pray to God he does start a podcast because I'd love to hear this guy talk every week, whatever it is that's on his mind. And I want him to talk about WWE and all of the issues that he has with them. 
because if he does start this podcast and he doesn't sign a new contract or doesn't have his contract extended, then he gets to talk about what he wants without worrying about getting fired. We may finally get to hear all of the little issues he had with the company, or big issues that he had with the company, why he left, why he done what he done, and will he ever return. A podcast with CM Punk could be highly, highly informative and one entertaining show. We know what he's like on the mic, so to put him on a podcast, for free downloads every week, that's something to listen to. In terms of his contract, WWE have said to previously just extended Rey Mysterio's contract without any sort of actual signing. There's some sort of clause in the contracts they have with some of their superstars, so that could be the case for CM Punk. His contract is due to expire this month. It could go on auto renew for his contract for six months to a year or whatever that is. I guess they're either holding out hope that he will return or know that at some point he is planning on returning. Everything is going to either be kept very hush hush or they just don't have a fucking clue what is going to happen with CM Punk. As I've said before in the last video, I think Punk is done. They may even do this extension on his contract, but I don't think he will ever come back but I want to listen to this podcast and I hope it's true. He's tweeted it, he said he's going to podcast, a band and set in a fire. He said he's doing two of those things. So, above all else, I hope he's definitely doing a podcast. It'd be interesting to hear a band of his as well. Next up, Dolph Ziggler. Expect to see some changes there. This is good news for me and my friend Ricky because we're huge fans of Dolph Ziggler. I'm sure many of you are as well, but as you know, he just keeps losing at the moment. He has had some wins, but he just keeps getting buried by WWE. I don't know why, but some good news here. They're looking at tweaking his character over the next few months. We could see some changes on TV and whoever goes to live events, you could be seeing some changes in his character, which is a good sign. I was worried that a little while ago that he would be dropped from WWE completely, fired, whatever. But they are tweaking this character over the next few months, so keep an eye on Raws and Smackdowns. And if any of you guys go to the live events, they're the ones to keep an eye on. Because sometimes we see things sooner of them than we do on TV. So if any of you guys go to live events, pop the comments and what you've seen in the section below for me and let me know. Because that will be interesting to hear. So, Dolph Ziggler, plans coming to change his character slightly. Who knows what that means? Who, know, who knows what's going to happen there? But it's good news. It means they are thinking about his character and maybe he will get his push that he well and truly deserves one day. He deserves it now. He deserves it now. Dolph Ziggler is amazing. and I don't know why they didn't stick with his run with the World Heavyweight Championship after he got better. Why he didn't come back and win it again, I don't know, but that's WWE for you. Dolph Ziggler, set for tweaks, which is good news. Also, Ric Flair was seen at the recent Madison Square Garden live event, and it is said that he busted open Bray Wyatt in a match. Not one-on-one, -on -one, but Ric Flair was at ringside during a match between John Cena and Bray Wyatt and some other superstars. But there was a picture going around, which I'll try and attach to this video, hopefully around about here, with Bray Wyatt all busted open at the hands of Ric Flair. Now Ric Flair, may, that may be a sign that he's coming back to TV fairly soon, hopefully, to work with the super superstar of his choosing, Dolph Ziggler, but WWE do not want to do that for some odd reason. But it's a good sign that Ric Flair is being seen at live events. It could mean that he's uh, getting some of the rust off in terms of uh, the mic work and things like that and he's getting ready for a comeback, but he busted up Bray Wyatt pretty bad. And lastly guys, Sting, as I previously reported, may be either on Raw tonight or featured on Raw tonight. I doubt he's gonna be on Raw, but Dave Meltzer has confirmed that there will be a segment on Raw tonight involving Sting. Now, it doesn't look like he's actually gonna be there, but WWE are putting together some sort of segment or video or whatever for Sting tonight. Sting tweeted last week, as I said, uh, 14, 7, 14, 
today's day, Monday Night Raw. It could mean, at a guess, that you will be featured in the new 2K15 video game and they will announce that tonight. You never know, you may do it in person. It could, would be cool to see him. But I think it will just be a video package letting everyone know that he will be a playable character in the new game. And it could be that the uh, overall theme for this new game is a WCW one. What better superstar than to uh, launch that announcement with? So, there it is. Another news blast from me. Let me know all your thoughts and opinion, guys. It's really appreciated. All you subscribers, thank you. And I will see you all soon for another news blast, guys. Let me know what you think of Raw. And I will see you all soon. Ciao for now.